in the fifth episode of Baron Diaries. We are featuring an epic story on Baron Hoes Racing, King's Cups 2019. Hoes have always been part of Bahraini culture. A unique collection of purebred Arabian horses has been preserved on the island for over 200 years by the rulers of Bahrain, the Al Khalifa family. Racing was conducted originally as private meetings and all horses were pure Arabians. With the support of the royal family, racing prospered and in 1977, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club was established to be the racing authority in Bahrain. The racing season starts in October and ends in April each year. About 300 horses participate. It takes place one day a week, which is a Friday, with six races a day with an average field of nine runners. And now we have Mr. Alan Smith, chief trainer of the Royal Stable, to comment on Bahrain horse racing and its future. He is one of the pioneers in the race horse training and started his long career in 1966. Since then he has been successful in all the roles in different parts of the world including the Middle East. Uh so I came to Bahrain in 1994 for the late Sheikh Issa um to train his horses. Uh but <coughs> the race course here in Bahrain was built in 1982 uh by Sheikh Issa. Uh, but before that the horse racing used to take place in Safra there's a small race course down there that isn't in use anymore uh but since 1982 the racing has improved immensely and we're now just racing thoroughbreds and the purebred of Bahrain Arabians um which have never been crossed with any other horses uh and now over the last 5 years uh we've been bringing better quality horses in and now we are we are up to international standard of group group 1 group 2 races um so the quality each year is getting better uh shake nasser is buying more expensive horses shake isa is very enthusiastic and uh, has got a good stable of horses uh, with me um among them is rustang who won the king's cup We go each year to Newmarket in July and October to try and replenish our stock with some good quality uh, English horses. And uh, we also have our own breeding program so we breed Bahrain local breeds. Could you also tell us about the opportunities ahead for Bahrain <coughs> horse racing? Okay. Well, we're hoping in future to have international races so horses coming from a broad race and in at the moment we're trying to sort out quarantine facilities and quarantine regulations so that will allow horses to come in into the quarantine centers and race at in invitation races but i don't see that happening within the next 2 or 3 years is probably something that's going to take 5 years to do as these things do take time So we were very lucky this season to have uh, Gerald Mossy as our stable jockey and he's the champion elect for this season um riding too many winners for the other jockeys. Oh that's great. <laughs> It was a, a privilege to be here my first season uh working for uh, Alan uh, here. We have a extremely uh, a lovely time. Horse behave well, the track getting better and better from what i heard and the uh, quality of the horses be uh, i would say much significant uh, uh improving from the previous years then then i was not here but definitely with support of a uh, royal family um uh, we'll be able to have a nice horses and the horse racing quality will keep improving i guess i will come back because it's a lovely place to be with two turf tracks measuring about 2400 meters with a straight of 1200 meters and one sand track for training grandstand with a seating capacity of over 3000 stables for 300 horses 
Bahrain can now boast of having the finest grass tracks and grandstand in the Middle East.